Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to spend some money on that fantastically large uh, cultivator uh, that I talked about in the last episode. Uh, as you can see it's still June 1st. I wanted to get that before um, we move to the, to the next day because uh, that can change the sales. Um, so first thing we got to do is we got to go into here and unfortunately borrow some money for the bank, but this is going to be as usual, a temporary loan situation. Um, I'm going to borrow $50,000 in total because I'm also going to need some operating cash as well. And then we're going to go into here, look at the sales and we're going to purchase the largest cultivator in the game. Well, I should say the largest cultivator in the base game. There are a couple of modded cultivators that are even bigger than this. Um, but, uh, this, this one is also part of the field creator mod. Uh, so we can use it to create fields as well as cultivate. So that makes it even a little more valuable. This has a working width of 15.7 meters. It requires a 500 horsepower, uh, vehicle. And we have that with the man truck. So we can use our man truck to do this. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and purchase it. It's also, it's 37 months. So it's, it's, it's getting up there, but I think it'll still be fine for us. Um, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> the age, the older equipment gets in the game, the more quickly it breaks down and the more you have to repair it. And it does eventually start getting more and more expensive. All right. Now we can change the color on this. Um, oh, it's going to add money to it. You know what? No, let's not. Let's not change the color. I think that's the default. Yeah. Um, that stuff's not super important, and I, I can't afford to be adding, um, you know, frivolous cost onto this. Uh, so let's purchase this. There we go. We are now, oh, look at that. There's a tractor that popped up, too. That was not there earlier. This is a steer, a steer. Um, What's the horsepower on this? 135 horsepower. So it looks like it's a small to medium-sized tractor. Interesting. Okay, well, we don't need that. I mean, you know, I really do want to get a, a third tractor. Um, most definitely do want to do that, but we're getting by okay for now with uh, with just the two tractors that we have. Okay, there it is. Look at that. Uh, it's 35% damaged already. How much is it going to cost to repair it all the way up? $891. Bucks. Yeah, let's just repair it. Okay. Next month uh, is July, and we'll we'll be able to do the the July contracts, which are are pretty lucrative because it's the second cutting for the the computer farmers for the hay, <clears throat> and we usually get several fertilizer and cultivating contracts in July as well. So we should bring in uh, a nice little pile of cash to pay the loan off for this and and then some. Uh, all right, so. We do have three cultivating contracts that we took. I'm not taking these harvesting contracts because they just don't pay enough money for the effort. Um, and these are actually pretty small too. But uh, let's go ahead and test out our new cultivator on these fields. So it looks like we need to start with 23, then 37, then 80. Uh, 23 is um, up here. Okay, so that's that's up there north, but kind of by the north hay fields. So we got that one, and then we have a little one in 80, and then 37. 37 is going to be the largest of the three, but with this thing, we're going to knock it out in no time flat. Scroll in just a little bit here. Okay. Yeah, this, this man truck is just amazingly useful. <clears throat> because it's basically a truck and a tractor in one. The only thing it doesn't have is a three-point hitch. So anything that requires a three-point hitch, you wouldn't be able to use this for. But man, you can use it for everything else that you could use a tractor for and 500 horsepower to boot. The other thing about this truck too is you can buy it brand new for, well, let's look. Brand new for $130,000. You get a 500 horsepower truck for $130,000. It's four wheel drive. It can do everything a tractor can do that doesn't require a three point hitch. And it's 500 horsepower. I mean, the first 500 horsepower tractor that's available 
I'm just trying to see, you know, just to show you the price. I think it's a Fint, actually. Yeah. Uh, so the first 500 horsepower tractor that you can get is a Fint. And that sucker costs $367,000. So you're essentially getting a 500 horsepower tractor for, what was that, $130,000 with the man, as long as you don't, like I said, need a three-point hitch. So it's just a really... <laughs> That's a really good deal, man. Poor man's 500 horsepower tractor, I guess, is what you'd call it. Uh, plus, it's a truck, you know, so you get all the adv advantages of having a, you know, having a truck, too. Um, oops, I kind of missed that. Okay. And I... I, I don't know if I explicitly mentioned this, but it does have a PTO too, of course, which is pretty important for tractor work. Wow, look at this monster. Okay, so let's head up to uh, the Northfield. Whoops. Uh, we'll head up to the Northfield first, the one up north, and we'll do that one, and then we'll come back around and get these ones down south. Okay, let's unfold this beast. This thing is huge. Okay, and we want to make sure that it's not on um, create fields, which it isn't. Okay, let's back up a little bit so we can get lined up properly here. I'm just in a really low gear. Okay. Look at that working width. Isn't that beautiful? This is going to make cultivating jobs just a breeze. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's get these fields cultivated. The one thing I will say about this is it's it's a bit tricky to maneuver just because it's so big and has such a long uh, tongue on it. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to drive over the other crops, which I can do, you know, just because you can't damage, you know, the other farmers' crops by driving on them. But if these were my own fields, it'd be a little trickier to do these smaller fields. And, you know, I am going to keep the... Um, I'm going to keep my other cultivator too, and I can actually get uh, workers, you know, using that while I'm using this one or vice versa. I put the maybe the workers on this one on the largest fields, that kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm glad we have this now. It's going to be um, going to be particularly useful too if we if we need to create a large new field, um, you know, using it. I'm just not sure if doing that with this will then, you know, have weeds come up later or not. Uh, I talked about this, I think, in the previous episode, but I have almost exclusively used a subsoiler to create fields since I started this playthrough. And, and if you use a subsoiler, then it doesn't, uh, you don't get weeds on the field. So 
we'd have to it'd be interesting to see how that plays out but anyway that wraps up these contracts we didn't make a ton of money on them but it was fun to do and a nice little test uh our, our first run for our ginormous cultivator here so next order of business is to prepare field 50 we're going to convert it over to a hay field and expand it a little bit i could even i could actually even use this for that just to see if you know then we'll get weeds but on the other hand i don't, I don't think you can i don't think you get weeds in hay fields anyways because the grass is so dense that it doesn't really allow for the weeds to grow so it might be a moot point as far as hay fields go we might not really be able to fully test that until you know we plant a, an arable crop so yeah uh let's see so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get that uh, field 50 prepped and we're also we also need to feed the cows and how about if i shift gears here uh, we need to feed the cows and i th think that's all we have to do for june maybe top off the greenhouses with some manure we should have enough manure to probably get almost all of them completely topped off or or very close anyway So what I'm going to do, guys, is I think I'm just going to, we're just going to do some time lapse for the field creation. I mean, I've done it so many times now. You guys have seen me do it so many times. Uh, but I will, I will show the process to you, but via, you know, bits and pieces of it via time lapse. So, yeah, enjoy the uh, montage. And then when we're done with that, we'll get our cows fed and then go from there.
want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you Pretty much finished here with the field. Just got this last little strip to roll, then we'll check the map, make sure it didn't miss any spots. And then we'll be done with this field. Uh, we'll come back in um, July and give it its second application of fertilizer. Uh, you may have noted too there in the time lapse that I went ahead and purchased that new spreader, sold, sold the old Amazon. Um, because uh, that spreader can do both lime and fertilizer uh, at 42, up to 42 meters. So it's a really nice uh, spreader. Uh, let's see. So we'll fold this up. Actually, hold on. Don't fold it yet. Let's check the map and see what it says here. So if it needs any more rolling, it'll be a light blue spot. Looks like there's a tiny spot here, maybe. And maybe something up in the corner. So let's just go hit that for thoroughness. And I really like the looks, you know, the look of these fields once you get them all dressed up. They look so nice. Um, okay, where was that spot? It's a little further up that way. Let's just drop the roller here and we'll drive straight this way. Depending upon the angle and the lighting and whatnot, it can be a little bit difficult to tell where you rolled versus where you seated because uh, the texture is very similar except for the the rolled texture is is a little sharper that's really the main difference all right let's check this no that still didn't take care of that so whatever that is it's really honestly not a big deal um and it could even be 
a spot we missed lining, maybe? Are we going to go over it here? Yeah, so we should go right over it. I can't visibly see it. Okay. All right, well, whatever that blue dot is, it's not because it wasn't rolled. It might be just that tiny spot that missed some lime or something, but yeah, honestly, it doesn't matter. The field's in really good shape overall. And yeah, so we'll just do a second FERT application on it in July, and then it'll be good to go. All right. Very good. Um, so the next thing we need to do is actually, I'm probably going to wait until June 2nd or 3rd before we feed the cows. Let's, let's let another day or two go by. That'll give us a little bit more manure too. And then we can top off the greenhouses. I've got, uh, got to put some bags in and put my stuff back away too. So let me get that taken care of. And then uh, we'll hop over to June 2nd. Um, or third, if I can make it to third, and then I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we'll go from there. So, see you in a bit. Hey guys, I'm back uh, in true old guy fashion here. <laughs> I completely forgot uh, that we need to roll our hay fields. Um, so, I'm going to get that done first, and then um, then then we'll pass uh, into June second and or third, depending upon how things go, and I'll bring you back at that point. But yeah, in case some of you were noticing that and wondering if I was going to remember. Yep, I did remember, fortunately. Um, we would have been fine if, you know, into June 2nd and 3rd too, but if you pass into the next month and you forget to roll, then it's too late because if you roll then, then you basically destroy the the growth and set it back, you know, to the to this stage. You don't destroy the crop, you just you know, set the growth stage back and you lose time. So anyway, yeah, I did remember, fortunately. And uh, so let me get this knocked out. It's going to take a little while because we have more hay fields now, which is a nice problem to have. And then I'll uh, bring you guys back either on the second or the third. See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. It is June 2nd and the cows are not going to wait one more day. So those cows are hungry. They like to eat. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in the New Holland here. And we'll head on over and get them fed up. Let's bring the Brantner over there uh, so we can bring some manure back with us. I think we'll go ahead and replenish the straw uh, now, too. It's it's It could last another month or so, but I think we'll just do that. All right, let's just load the manure in here. It gives us 82, 99 liters, and I'm actually going to just leave the trailer here because I might wait until tomorrow so I can get just a little more because I'd like to top off all the greenhouses. And we don't absolutely have to top off all the greenhouses, but it would be nice if we could. All right, so let's pull the straw chopper out. And doesn't have any. Oh, it does have some straw in it. Okay. So let's just see how much this will fill the, the barn up. Whoops. We'll open up the straw door there. You don't actually have to, but I like it. I like it to be somewhat realistic. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Okay. That bale was just about done, wasn't it? All right, we'll go throw some more bales in here. Got a nice little supply of straw and hay. And uh, we'll, we'll get, we'll probably get a little bit more of both of those. Um, next month when we do contracts. Okay, so for... Here, let me actually move this out a little further. 
I think the last time we threw a total of three bales, three straw bales in here. But we probably only need two. 2.4 square bales, and yeah, let's just do two. Well, actually, I'm going to need some for TMR, too, so I should have taken another one out, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Man, we have done a lot of work in June. A lot of work. that picking that up there it goes it's kind of weird there's something really cool albeit stinky <laughs> about using manure and you know later on slurry you know for fertilizer it's just I don't know it feels feels good because you're you know you're you're it's natural you're recycling well, yeah, whatever. I don't know. I just like it, okay? That's all there is to it. Shut up. <laughs> just kidding. No, I think it's cool, though. Not to mention, you know, probably in the long run, cheaper. I mean, we, you know, we have a sizable investment just to buy these cows and set up all this equipment. But, you know, as time goes on, you'll eventually recoup that and then you are going to have, you know, pretty much free fertilizer. That cow's having a straw shower. That's got to be fun. All right, let's take a look and see. Nope, we can do another bale. Okay. It looks like the bedding's all full in there, but obviously it can take more. Oh, by the way, um, my dad, who watches these videos... Hi, Dad. He mentioned in the comments that the difference between the Brown Swiss and the Holstein is that the Brown Swiss has more fat content in their milk, so they're better cows for butter, um, which is pretty cool. I don't, I don't think that matters in this game, but in real life, that's the way it is. So I, I just like... You know, little trivia, bits of trivia about farming like that. It's really cool. So, yeah. Thanks, Dad. You're awesome, man. Um, okay, so, whoops. Let's just, I'm just going to leave this here for now. And now we'll get the TMR wagon. Oh, did that fill the straw all the way up? I mean, for all intents and purposes, yeah. There's like a tiny little bit left that it could take, but that's good enough. That's going to last them several months. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's June, right? And we did this in, in January, so we can get by with almost a half a year without having to replenish the straw in this barn. Pretty good. The TMR we have to do every two months, though. All right. The uh, the high end cow barn in the base game has a robotic feeder, and it it mixes the TMR and feeds the cows automatically. You just have to fill up fill up the bins, and we might we might get that at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Certainly can't afford it right now. It's like I think it's over a million bucks. How much is that thing? Animals, cows. Oh, I guess it's not over a million bucks. It's seven hundred twenty-two thousand five hundred. So I mean, it's still really expensive, but pretty cool though. Um, so yeah, well, it is tentatively my plan to get that at some point. Uh, if we end up not getting that, we'll at least get the large normal cow barn, um, and then we'll have to obviously we'll have to get a much larger mixer at that point too. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on.
Wait. How is there 100% mineral feed in there? Oh, it must be left over. Yeah, it is in there. It was left over from the other load because I couldn't put any more in it. Okay. Well, let's see if that gives us enough um, for this next load without having to buy more. I mean, if we do, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, we're going to want one more straw bale. We're going to want one hay bale. And uh, we're going to want one of these silage bales over here. Last time um, I did this, we didn't feed, or, or rather fill things up all the way. And I think if I had filled it up all the way, we probably could have gotten by until June 3rd. So this time we are going to fill it. You know, we're going to max it out. Uh, but what I might do is throw... See if we can um, uh, throw some extra maybe hay in as opposed to silage. I'd rather not cut into my little round bales because that those are for sell selling. Um... We could also, you know, pop another one of these open, too. Because this is obviously going to last us for the rest of the year. And just put par part of it in. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Um, if if we can't use hay. We should use hay first if we can. Because it's, you know, cheaper than the, than the silages. I think I can put that in there that way. Yeah, that should work. Oh, it's not showing us the the graph again. Oh, that's because I don't have the dog doggone thing turned on. That's why. Okay. Yeah, we might have to buy a little more mineral feed. We'll see. If we do, we do. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's put the hay in next. It's just really cool. I love, I love, I love this man. It's fun feeding the cows. Yeah, the mineral feed's going down. I think we're probably going to need to buy some more mineral feed. Oh, nice close up look there. Okay, so based upon that, then let's go do that now. I think there's a mod that lets you actually make your own mineral feed, too. It's something we might look into later, but it requires several different crop types. So, we, you know, we're going to need to be able to produce those crops first before that, you know, really makes sense for us to do. Uh, okay, so let's go here. Big bags and... Uh, oh. Big bag and support. Oh, yeah, that's... That's what, from the mod. I've never actually purchased these. Oh, these are like one and a half meters. Uh, or I'm sorry, one and a half. 1,500 liters is what I'm trying to say, as opposed to the, these that are only 1,000. That's kind of neat. Um, But we actually need to go to pallets anyways. Yeah, we're in the wrong place here. And we want a thing of mineral feed. I wish the consumables like this would also, you know, come on sale sometimes. That would be nice. Mineral feed sale, 25% off. Through the month of July or something like that. That'd be cool. Whoa! <laughs> Bang. I might need to put a bridge across there or something. 
Okay, so I want to put a little, I want to put about 40%-ish of this in here and no more than that. We're going to have to be quick. Oh, it turned off. Oh, it turned back on. Oh, it's, whoa, it's going in already. Okay, uh, right there, good, okay. And this, I think this pallet here will be enough for the next feeding. Because we only had a couple of little, you know, a couple of bags in there when we started. I hope it'll be enough anyways. Alright, I'm gonna also... Oh, you know what we could do with this? Let's stick it in the... the straw... straw door. I don't want to leave it outside. I mean, it doesn't actually really matter, but it would in real life, right? Oh, there's a fence there. We Okay, I guess we can't put it in there. Next, we'll put some straw in up to the maximum amount, and then we'll fill the rest in. Hopefully, we'll be able to fill the rest in with hay. You just don't want to put too much of any one ingredient in because then it no longer, you know, it's too diluted. There we go. Okay. And pull it out now. Good. It's pretty much exactly what we wanted to do there. Okay, now let's grab another hay bale. That's it. Okay, we got a full load. Nice. Okay, so one square silage bale, and it looks like about one and a third-ish of a hay bale. About a half a pallet or so of mineral feed. And then, um, what is it, about 30% or so of a straw bale, something like that? And that gives us a full load with this mixer. Eat up, cows! There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this. So that brings that up to 25,000. And that should be good for two months. At some point, it might be nice to invest in a little bit larger mixer, something that would fill it all the way up. Um, but if we look at this, yeah, I, I don't think we can could get by with three months because that's that's more like a fourth instead of a third. So, I mean, this is good enough for now. We're good. I'll probably just keep this set up until we upgrade the barn itself to a larger barn. gets the job done all right you guys last uh well actually two more things we want to uh well actually how is how's the dairy doing on milk yeah uh let's let's wait until june 3rd so we can get just a little more manure because i'd really like to get all the greenhouses topped off and then we'll also do the milk so I will see you guys tomorrow on June the 3rd. I'm going to put this thing away. Okay, it's June the 3rd. Let's take a look and see what's on sale. Uh, we have a potato header and we have an auger wagon. Neither one of which we need right now, uh, if ever. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do now is 
the tomato, eh, these could actually probably get away with one more day on the solid fertilizer. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to give it one more day. We are going to have to start thinking about seeds here fairly soon, but we can, we'll be good for at least one more month. Okay, so let's grab our tanker and uh, deliver some milk to the dairy. Okay, let's load up on milk. I'm curious to, to know how much money we're going to make off the cheese and butter. Um, September is going to be the, the best, for Pete's sake, uh, going to be the best month to sell that stuff. Oh, man. Okay, start off in first gear. There we go. We do have, after all, a load. <laughs> now. The, the big truck, the man truck, I mean, I can start that thing out like in sixth gear and it'll go, but apparently the pickup doesn't quite work that way. I might, I probably couldn't start the man out in sixth gear if it had like a heavy load on it though, but. Okay. I do have, I, I want to do a little more landscaping type of work around the dairy too, but you know, that costs money and money's just been, I guess what we'll say, it's it's been temporarily tight for us. So, I'm, and I'm okay with that. It is what it is, right? We'll be fine. We're going we're gonna to make some pretty decent money at the end of the year. There we go. Okay, let's offload our milk. Excellent. Yeah, you, you're just going to have to stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. We uh, have 60% or 11, yeah, 11,149 liters of manure. That should be plenty, I think, to top off all of the greenhouse. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> uh, to top off all the greenhouses. Because they're, they all have a, you know, over, they're all over half full already. Um, so we'll see. What, what I want to do though is I want to make sure that the one that's the lowest is the first one we fill. Yeah, I'm just going to go down the line. I'd be, I'll be surprised if we don't have enough to top all of them off. Particularly since one's already full anyways. One's the one, the greenhouse that's still using the the uh, granular fertilizer. I'm going to let it go one more day before I switch it to manure. See, now after this, we're going to start accumulating this manure. And at some point, we're going to need to think about getting a, a muck spreader and start using the manure for fertilizer in two. Its main purpose though, of course, is to keep our greenhouses fertilized, but you know, we're gonna have more. We're gonna have a surplus, but we can't use it for other stuff yet until we, until we get a, a spreader for it. Very nice, okay. Let's go dump this back in the bin and, oh, we got to move those eggs too. That'll be the last thing we'll do and then we'll wrap up the episode. This has been a, an extremely busy month, but it's been a good month, man. It was a great month. Just still very, very much enjoying this game. Hope you guys are still enjoying watching it. Okay, so the year is half over, and let's just see where we're sitting as far as product goes.
Um. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, we can just look here. So that's everything that's in the storage right now. Sixteen thousand liters of eggs, eleven thousand of butter, four thousand and change of cheese, hundred fifty-six thousand <laughs> liters of lettuce. My goodness. Yeah, we're gonna make a ton on the lettuce again. Uh, Thirty-six thousand tomatoes and seventy-one thousand on the strawberries. So yeah, we're gonna have a nice little payday at the end of the year, man, for sure. Okay, let's look at our finances and then we gotta wrap things up. So we need to pay our worker uh, right here. We're moving our pallets into the warehouse. Okay, that leaves us with $2,691, which isn't very much. But we have, we're going to have some pretty juicy July contracts, and we're gonna, we'll be able to recoup some money uh, from that. Uh, but this, this is June here, so uh, we bought, the, um, we bought the, the large cultivator and also the coon spreader that does both the lime and the fertilizer. So that's where that came from. Uh, I sold the Amazon spreader. That's where that came from. Construction costs. Yeah, we had to do a little bit of landscaping. That's what that's from. Uh, we spent $7,964 in repair. So not as bad as April, uh, but still pretty expensive. We leased. Uh, oh, yeah, we leased those rakes in the last episode. So that's what that came from. Property maintenance, $535. Our mysterious $139 from our production. And let's see, we spent 1062 in fuel, 266 in water. We got just a tiny bit of harvest income from... Uh, where did that come from? I don't know where that came from. Harvest income. I'm not sure where that came from. Uh, we made 29, 27 on contracts. We spent $33,000 in wages. Uh, most of this is... Uh, this is a combination of the storage charge at the train station and paying our worker for moving pallets, and then $132 in interest. We have a $60,000 loan, which we will should be able to take care of next month. All right, guys, that is it for June. So here's the plan, July. I'm probably going to go through July off camera. I'm just going to do the, the usual contracts and bring you back uh, with an end-of-the-month update for July to begin the next episode, unless... As always, I have a reason to bring you back before then, such as, you know, something comes up on the sales that we really want. So that's where we are. Feeling pretty good about stuff overall. We're doing well and um, anticipating making a boatload of cash at the end of this year. Should be good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.